So I think we've beat around the bush enough on this whole idea and it's, it's time to test some stuff out. If you remember this abomination, this, <laughs> this was a root style cooler fan thing that I made and essentially its job was to cool the radiator on my PC custom loop. And it, it did, I mean, it moved there. It, it essentially is the world's coolest looking PC fan and probably the most inefficient and loud. But anyway, it was awesome. And the next viable step is to make a turbo. I don't have uh, an exhaust on my PC, so next best thing is a pro charger, which is essentially what would happen if a turbo and a supercharger had a baby. It's, a, it's basically a turbo that's ran by a belt or maybe electric motor. In our case, it will be electric motor, but that is the plan. Now I designed this a while ago, I printed it out. As you can see, I was very, I didn't really know how much filament it was gonna take. I thought I had enough blue. And then when that was out, I was like, this purple will definitely finish it out. And uh, as you can see, silver is on there. But I need to finish assembling this and put it together for the first time and see if everything fits. Everybody knows that you never have interference issues on your first design. We're good at designing, right? Now the first thing we're gonna do is put some inserts and all these screw holes. So that's complete. Now, when I was getting the motor back out, I do remember one thing I didn't like, both when I was making this supercharger and when I was making this pro charger, it's the shaft on this motor. I think it's time to look for something a bit beefier and preferably with a shaft that's uh, threaded so you could use you know nuts and stuff like that to, to hold things in place. Because using that little tiny keyway and this little tiny shaft to turn kind of these compressor wheels and stuff that I've created, it's, it's a little tricky and it's sometimes you gotta just use some imagination. Speaking of imagination, let's see how, let's see how it fits. So the idea is the motor's gonna go in there like that and the compressor wheel on top. Uh, you'll, you'll like how I'm planning on doing that, but I do see an issue. It looks like it's gonna be a bit too, it's pretty thin. So I think these bolts are gonna bottom out. So I need to make a spacer. That was easy, it was like three minutes. So the spacer now is gonna go in here like so. The holes lined up, motor on top of that. And that should keep us from bottoming out the screws here. So that's that. Now you're really gonna like how I plan to try to attach the compressor wheel. On the bottom here, you're gonna notice that it looks kind of like the opposite of this spur gear. And it's slightly smaller, and I'm hoping that I can press this in here, and it'll have just enough sticking force or friction that it's gonna hold it in place right on top of this guy. And I'm not too worried about the friction. I think it'll be able to overcome that pretty easily. I am worried about my tolerancing. I think I was a little, little ambitious, so we'll see how that works out. Okay, that doesn't seem to be rubbing. Now let's see if I can push this bad boy on here. It doesn't seem too bad, it does, it does rub. I wonder if I can use this as a spacer to kind of get her gapped out. Now let's plug it in and see how it works. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to hold it. Well, it's not perfect, but I think it'll work. The motor does feel warm, so that, that, that friction might be a problem, especially if we have even more in here. So let's continue onwards. And that, ladies and gents, is a, it's a pro charger. Ooh, not ideal. I don't, I don't like the interferences that I got going on, but before we resize and reprint, I'll just see how it does. We, gotta, we do gotta be careful with how hot the motor gets, even though we are, even though I'm planning on getting a new one, uh, if it heats up too much, it'll melt the plastic and, well, then everybody will be sad. All right, here we go. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. All right, so I did add some clearance to this compressor wheel. As you can see, it spins, but it doesn't really spin that well. 
and I noticed that the motor that I'm using, the same one I used on the, uh, the roots cooler, the shaft is slightly bent, which makes the compressed wheel wobble. So that's not ideal. We're gonna send it, see what happens, but I think we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board and find a different motor. Okay, that's a little terrifying because it actually worked better than I thought. Look how wobbly it is. All right, let's see what it, let's, let's see what, what kind of pressure it put on. Does it blow stuff? <laughs> Okay, although not ideal. This, this could maybe work out. Let's, let's hook it up to something. So just for a bit of a comparison, I put a brand new A12X25 on this little setup here, and it's about 570 feet per minute, 567. So that's gonna be kind of our, our base to see how, how this monstrosity does. So I created a shroud that uh, printed out horribly. So what I did is cover it with tape, because that's what you do, but I think it'll work. Let's uh, find my safety glasses and see how much air we move. smoke <laughs> oh things got a little spicy so definitely the motor's hot ESC's hot and the smoke that we saw was the uh, insulation on the cables starting to slowly burn away uh, I think it's safe to say we're overloading this little motor just a little bit but I think we'll let it cool down and then run it through a smoke test real quick to see just kind of see the flow because if you noticed <laughs> in this uh, wind tunnel test, it peaked about 2631, which is the highest we've seen on this channel for sure. So this thing's moving a bit of air. I just want it to keep on going just a little more for the smoke test. Ooh, it's toasty. <laughs> yeah, this thing would not, it would not be able to stand on the little plexiglass thing I got. So I'm attaching it to a 3D printer because top notch engineering. Oh, look at the craftsmanship. Name one thing a zip tie can't fix. Oh, just in case it doesn't survive. Look at this best part. After our speed run, it no longer rubs. And that's how designing works. You just get things close and you let the parts figure it out. <laughs> that's not how it works. She's dead. Uh, I can actually feel the motor <laughs> wobbling around now. So the shaft is pretty well bent, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, the motor itself only has a three millimeter diameter shaft. So what do you expect? But it did work. And although it's not working now, I think this was a pretty good, pretty good first go at it. Uh, in actuality, I wanted to make this style supercharger, this pro, pro charger style before this roots one, but to be honest, the compressor housing, the snail looking shell, was actually the hardest thing to make. Uh, although I do use SolidWorks daily at work and on this channel, this shape is not something that I ever make. And it took me a minute to try to figure out how to manipulate the software to produce this housing, which eventually I did figure out. Um, the compressor wheel is pretty straightforward. I didn't do any research on compressor wheel design or housing design, I just looked at a bunch of pictures and I that works and it, it, it functioned well. It outperformed this thing. It was quieter before it killed itself. Uh, in this thing's defense, it, this, this still does spin relatively well and this thing doesn't. But like I said, it's time to upgrade this motor. We need something a bit heftier with a bit more power. And that's where I'm gonna ask you guys for some help. I'll do some research to try to find something that's, you know, maybe six, eight, you know, S capable with a uh, good RPM and good torque that can handle loads like this and not just burn up immediately or have the shaft 
flip out and bend, you know, maybe a five millimeter, six millimeter shaft, something like that. But either way, let me know what you want to see with this thing in the smoke test. We did see it moved some air. I did notice some leakage where my little gasket is here, so I need to make that more robust if we ever do another version of this. But let me know. Do you want to see a bigger one of these? Do you want to see a bigger motor? Do you just want to, what do you want to see done? Brutes, Pro Charger, anything else out there? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I did. See ya.